Hello kids, this is the continuation video of Standard 5 Maths, the same chapter, Fraction, Part 2. In our first part, we had discussed about the types of fractions. Now, we will deal with equivalent fraction. What does it mean? If we take an object and divide it into two equal parts, that can be expressed as 1 out of 2. The same object if divided into 4 equal parts and you said 2 parts or you take out 2 parts out of 4. That means we are saying the same part as the previous one. That is 2 out of 4 here. In the third one, if the same object is there and we divide it into six equal parts and we shade three parts that is again the half of the figure. So how mathematically we can understand or how to find out the equivalent fractions. In all the three figures you can see here that the same part is being shaded but in fractional form we have written the first one as one out of two. In second one, 2 out of 4. In third one, 3 out of 6. That means all 3 are equivalent. Mathematically, how we can find it out? We are having here one fraction 1 by 2. So, here I have done as multiply the given fraction by the same non-zero number in the numerator as well as denominator. If you multiply by 2, if you take a number 2 in the numerator and denominator, we will get the equivalent fraction of 1 by 2 as 2 by 4. If you multiply the numerator and denominator by 3 with 1 by 2, we will get 3 by 6. That means 1 by 2, 2 by 4 and 3 by 6 are equivalent to each other. We can also find equivalent fractions by dividing with the same non-zero number with the given fraction. Like if 3 by 6 is a fraction, then we divide it by 3, both in numerator and denominator we will get 1 by 2. If 2 by 4 is a fraction, we divide it by 2 in numerator and denominator we will get 1 by 2 again. That means 3 by 6, 2 by 4, both are the equivalent fraction of 1 by 2. That means what? That either by multiplying with the same non-zero number in the numerator and denominator or by dividing with the same non-zero number in the given fraction in the numerator and denominator, we can get equivalent fractions. Now we will study about one important property of equivalent fraction that is in case of two equivalent fractions if two equivalent fractions are given you have to check whether both the fraction both the fractions are if two fractions are given both the fractions are equivalent or not not to check that the product of the numerator of the first and the denominator of the second must be equal to the product of the denominator of the first and numerator of the second. Now let us understand this by using an example. To check whether the given fraction are equivalent or not. 6 by 13 is a fraction and 30 by 35 is a fraction. Numerator of the first 6 Denominator of the second, 65. We'll multiply, we'll get 390. Numerator of the second, denominator of the first, we'll multiply, we will get the same product. If both the product are equal, that means the given two fractions are equivalent. If not, then the given fractions are not equivalent. Another property by using that how to find out an equivalent fraction of 5 by 8 with the numerator 
20. We are having a given fraction 5 by 8 where the numerator of the equivalent fraction of 5 by 8 is 20. The denominator we have to find out. That means what? That with which number as 20 is greater than 5? Just now I had told that we can find the equivalent fraction either by multiplying in the numerator and denominator with the same non-zero number or by dividing with the same non-zero number. Here 20 is greater than 5 that means uh, some number must be multiplied with 5 to get 20. So how to find out that number which must be multiplied to get the equivalent fraction? We will divide 20 by 5 that is 5 4 ja 20. That means by multiplying 4 in the numerator that is 5 and in the denominator that is 8 we will get the equivalent fraction of 5 by 8 with numerator 20 and denominator 32. Some more examples we will also do that is there in your exercise as well. Simplify a fraction into lowest term. You had already done HCF that is the highest common factor in standard 4. So to simplify a fraction given fraction is in lowest term or not first we will check that if in lowest term then no need to convert it into lowest term. For that what to be done? First we will find the HCF highest common factor for the numerator as well as denominator. Two numbers are there. Two numbers combined to form a fraction numerator and denominator. So we will find out the HCF of both the numbers. If the HCF of the numerator and denominator is 1, if only one common factor is there that is 1 out of both the numerator and denominator, then the fraction is already in lowest term. No need to convert it into lowest term. If the HCF is not 1, then we have to divide the numerator and denominator by the HCF that we will get. Let us understand by using an example that is 20 by 35. A given fraction is given 20 by 35. 20 is the numerator, 35 is the denominator. We will write the factors of that 2 into 2 into 5. By prime factorization, you can do in the rough work and write the factors of that. If the number is big, is smaller number, you can directly as well write. For 35, the factors are 5 and 7. 1 is always the common factor for all the numbers. So, HCF of 20 and 35 is 5. So, we will divide the given fraction by 5. We will get 4 by 7. Another number is there 16 and 20 by 21. We will find out again the HCF of both. That is for 16, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. For 21, 3 into 7. So HCF is 1 for both. Only one common factor that is 1. So it is already in lowest term. No need to convert it into lowest term. Move on to few more sums that will help you out. To find out the equivalent fractions. First one same as we had just now dealt with 5 by 8 one example. If 4 by 7 is there to find out the equivalent fraction where numerator is 16. With which number we have to multiply 4 that is a very small number so you can directly read out the table and find out with which number we will multiply 4 to get 16. 4 4 just 16. So, 7 into 4 is 28. Another example, 21 by 35. 3 by the denominator we have to find out. As I told, here we had done, we had multiplied the same non-zero number with the numerator and denominator to get the equivalent fraction. Here we have to divide because 3 is less than 21 to get less number we cannot get it by multiplying we have to get it by dividing so 21 divided by 7 and 35 divided by 7 
that is equals to 3 by 5. That means either by multiplying or by dividing we can get the equivalent fractions.